You are watching the Dark Fantastic Network. When Ridley Scott's Blade Runner was first released in 1982, no one could have guessed it would later become a revered science fiction classic. Upon release, it was met with ambivalent reviews and lukewarm box office receipts. Though most critics couldn't deny the film's striking visual style and immersive atmosphere, it was almost unanimously seen as a critical and commercial failure. Ten years later, things changed. Dramatically. In 1992, Blade Runner, the director's cut, was released, and the film finally got the acclaim it deserved. In this revised version, director Ridley Scott got to shape the film closer to his original vision, tightening the pace, removing the distracting studio-mandated voiceover narration, and reverting the ending to its original intended form. Twenty-five years later, Scott got a chance to revise the film yet again, delivering what he called, the final cut, which is now considered the definitive version of the film. In 2017, an official sequel, Blade Runner, 2049, produced and co-written by Ridley Scott, finally made it to theaters. But the sequel proved divisive, with Scott himself calling it a languidly paced disappointment, and regretting not directing it himself due to other commitments. But long before the movie sequel to Blade Runner was released in theaters in 2017, another official sequel was released in 1995. After Blade Runner, the director's cut, was released to universal acclaim by critics and audiences alike, rumors of a sequel started to surface, as far back as 1992. But due to complicated copyright issues, plans for a sequel to the original film were difficult to pull off, and so, the estate of author Philip K. Dick, the writer of the original novel on which the film was based, decided to commission a sequel novel instead, hiring acclaimed science fiction writer K. W. Jeter, a protege of Philip K. Dick, to pen the book. The result was, Blade Runner 2, The Edge of Human, released in 1995. Blade Runner 2, The Edge of Human, is a curious creation, partly because Jeter wrote the book as a sequel not just to the 1982 movie directed by Ridley Scott, but also to Philip K. Dick's 1968 novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, on which the film was based. This makes for an interesting if slightly challenging read, as there are several differences between the original novel and the 1982 film, in characters, plot, and even intent. But Jeter mostly succeeds in marrying the two universes of the book and film together, by working out the myriad dangling plotlines of both stories, and explaining away several plot holes from the film, one of which, that Deckard was supposed to hunt down six replicants, not five, makes up the main plot of Jeter's novel. As a sequel to Blade Runner, the feature film, the book works fairly well, picking up shortly after the events of the film and adding a number of entertaining twists and surprise appearances by characters that supposedly died in the film. As a sequel to Philip K. Dick's book, it is slightly less effective, as the tone of Dick's original novel clashes considerably with the tone and story of Ridley Scott's film. The book also slows down almost to a halt near the middle, with a couple of jarring out-of-character instances for Deckard, but it picks up again near the end, delivering a grand, fiery finale, with a terrific and haunting final twist that is sure to please fans of the original film. In fact, the book was successful enough to warrant a screenplay adaptation, commissioned in 1998, entitled Blade Runner Down, which later got stuck in development hell, and never got made. For fans of both Dick's book and Scott's 1982 movie adaptation, Blade Runner 2, The Edge of Human, comes highly recommended, as it features a plethora of fascinating details and twists, and pushes the story in a complex and compelling direction. And, in many ways, it is a superior story and more true to the characters of the original film than the official sequel, Blade Runner, 2049, providing satisfying conclusions to the stories of many characters from the original novel and the movie adaptation.